Random variables by definitions are variables whose possible values or numerical outcomes of a random event. So, uh, medyo deep yung uh, de definition of random variables. But basically, yung random variables, uh, ginagamit lang natin or kailangan lang natin malaman yung pagkaiba-iba ng mga variables na ginagamit natin sa probability. So, before natutunan natin yung classical probability and conditional probability, now, um... Magdi-deviate naman tayo sa iba pang types ng uh, probability na ngayon ang gumagamit or ginagamit na ng random variables. Now, to uh, make it more understandable, yung random variables, example niyan, halimbawa meron tayo isang experiment, at yung experiment natin is flipping, a, flipping three coins or a coin three times, at ang uh, goal natin is hanapin yung mga random variables o yung mga var numerical variables na gagamitin natin dun sa probability natin sa sample space. So, sa flipping a coin three times, kung ang x natin o yung mga x's o yung mga random variables natin will be all the possible numbers of heads na makukuha natin kapag ka nag-flip tayo ng three coins or isang coin three times, meron tayong uh, zero na tails, zero heads, meron tayong one heads, two heads, three heads, na possible sample space dito sa particular event na to. So, itong mga numbers na to, yan yung mga random variables na tinatawag. So, yung x values natin sa random variables for this particular experiment will be 0, 1, 2, and 3. Ito namang second experiment natin is rolling uh, two dice. So, when we roll two dice at yung... Uh, event natin na kinukuha for our random variable x will be the sum of the numbers facing up. So, kapag nag-roll ka ng uh, dalawang dice, syempre may dalawang number na la numbers na lalabas. So, ang kailangan natin is hanapin yung sample space for this particular experiment na yun yung magiging mga random variables natin. So, mga fa possible values ng x natin doon will be 2, 3, 4, up until 12. So, magsa-start siya sa 2 kasi ang pinaka-lowest na pwede natin makuha is the sum of 2, which is 1 and 1. Hindi naman tayo pwede mag-start sa 0 dahil wala namang 0, 0 doon sa isang die. Hindi rin tayo pwede mag-umpisa sa 1 kasi wala namang 1 and then 0 na i-add mo para maging 1 na magsa-start dito sa random variable natin. So, it's all about logic at saka sinabi ko nga dati, kailangan nag-iisip tayo kapag ka um, probability questions or probability problems yung ginagamit or um, sinasagutan natin. Now, para mas matutunan or maintindihan natin yung discrete random variables, kailangan natin ng mga examples. So, dito sa example ko, meron akong isang experiment na uh, gagamitin at yung experiment ko will be flipping a coin four times. So, ngayon, four times naman, hindi na lang three times. So, ang event na gusto kong kunan ng random variable, kasi pwede siyang dalawa, pwede kong mag-flip ng coins at kailangan kong kunin is yung heads or yung tails. So, dito sa particular experiment na to, interesado lang ako na kunin yung mga possible outcomes ko ng probability ko ng event ay eh, kunin yung tails or yung isa sa mga faces ng uh, coin. So, solutions natin, alam natin ang sample space na makukuha natin kapag ka binilang natin yung mga tails na lalabas sa pag-flip ng coin four times. So, be yung first um, possible combination niya will be heads, 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 heads. So, nag-flip ka ng coin four times. First toss, heads. Second toss, toss, heads. And then, pang-apat na toss is heads pa rin. Kaya meron tayong possible outcome dito na H, 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 H. Yung susunod na possible outcome, pwede rin siyang H, and then T, and then H, H, and so on. So, pag binilang mo lahat ng possible outcomes, when you flip a coin four times, there will be 16 possible outcomes. So, kung uh, natatandaan nyo yung uh, tree diagram na ginawa natin before, may intindihan nyo kung bakit 16 yung sample space ko for this particular event. Now, kailangan ko yung 16 na yan kasi gagamitin ko yan sa pagsagot ng probability ko mamaya. So, ang uh, event natin is getting tails. Since ito yung sample space natin, ang mga possible x's natin or yung mga discrete random variables dun sa probability natin will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 heads. Pwedeng walang heads kasi h, 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 h yung lumabas or pwede rin namang 4 kasi t, 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 t yung lumabas. So, ito yung mga possible number of tails sa pag-flip ng coin 4 times. So, kung kukunin natin yung probability ng bawat isa, 
dito sa random variable natin, kapag kakinuha natin yung probability na x is equal to 0, which means there's no heads na lumabas pag flip mo ng coin 4 times, it'll be 1 out of 16. So, hindi siya 0 porket x is equal to 0, 0 na. Ang ibig sabihin itong 0 na to is 0 tails. So, ang uh, probability of that happening will be 1 out of 16 because there's one possible combination out of the sample space of 16. So, p of x equals 1 naman kasi ang possible outcomes na magkakaroon ka ng at least or equal to 1 heads kapag nag-flip ka ng 4 coins will be 4 out of 16. So, pwede siyang H, T, H, H, one tail, one tail, one tail, and one tail, another tail. So, makikita niyo yung uh, mavivisualize niyo dapat kung ano yung 4 na ito. So, 4 out of 16 is for P of X equal to 1. P of X equal to 2 will be 6 out of 16. P of X equal to 3 will be 4 out of 16. And P of X equal to 4 will be 1 out of 16. Na kailangan na intindihan nyo kung ano yung mga notations na yan. Ibig sabihin itong mga 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 na yan is yung mga possible outcomes ko or possible probabilities or probabilities ko ng no, no tails, 1 tails, 2 tails, 3 tails, and 4 tails. So ito yung aking mga probability. So, yan yung pagkuha ng mga discrete random variables given an experiment. Now, this is the second example natin. Um, problem natin is using the probability mo model na ito, na ginagamit natin. Let's find the probability of getting at most two tails when you flip a coin four times. So, alam na natin yung mga probabilities when you flip a coin four times and focus natin is the tails. So, to get the probability of zero tails, meron tayong 1 out of 16 uh, chance for that to happen or for that to occur. At kung one, at least one tail naman is 4 out of 16, two, two tails will be 6 out of 16, at three tails, 4 out of 16, at saka 4 tails naman is 1 out of 16. So ito yung ating probability model na gagamitin natin sa pagsagot nitong example number 2 na to. So sa question na yan, ang gusto natin malaman or gusto natin um, gamitin is yung uh, discrete random variables na ginamit natin sa previous example. At yung discrete random variables natin dyan will be 0, 1, 2, and 3, and 4. So to answer this question, probability of getting at most two tails, which means pag sinabi natin at most, yun yung ibig sabihin maximum number of tails na pwede natin makuha. At yung maximum number of tails daw is two. Pero yung two na yun, hindi ibig sabihin equal to two. So pwedeng maging one tails or pwedeng zero tails yung um, event na makukuha natin yung chances na yun. Kaya, probability of getting at most two tails will be x less than or equal to 2. So, pag tinatanong naman is probability of getting at most 3 tails, so it's gonna be x less than or equal to 3. At kung at most 4, will be x less than or equal to 4. At kung at most 5, it will be 0. So, it's not gonna happen kasi hindi naman pwede yun. So, yun yung um, pag-sagot uh, ng probability question na to using our discrete random variable na nandito sa ating probability model. So here, ang gagawin lang natin is kunin nyo lang yung mga probabilities nung bawat chance na pwedeng 0 tails, 1 tails, and then 2 tails. At dito, 0 tails will be 1 out of 16. Um, at least, I mean, 1 tail or x equal to 1 tail will be 4 out of 16. At kapag naman x is equal to 2, it's gonna be 2 or 6 out of 16. Then you just have to add them all up para makuha mo yung exact probability ng event na ito. At ang exact probability niya will be 11 out of 16, which is 0.6875. So to answer example number two, the probability of getting at least, um, or at most two tails, when you flip a coin four times is 68.75. I'm sorry, this is supposed to be at most. will be 68.75. Um, so, yaan yung... Um